with growing number of integration points being written between Salesforce and other applications, we have witnessed growth in Apex code making use of callout methods, which requires developers to create test methods in order to test these callouts. Now, we know that Apex test methods do not support such callouts. Instead, it provides uh, a workaround by which we can create uh, a fake response and assume as if it's coming from the um, endpoint call that you are trying to test. And that is precisely the point of my presentation uh, today where I have summarized the three key steps that one needs to follow in order to create an effective test methods for testing such callouts. So first, obviously we need to understand the callout class that is subject of um, testing. Understand its endpoints, methods, request and the response uh, which is expected from the endpoint. And once you understand, the second step is for us to create, rather implement, a class um, for this interface and put respond method in it and create some mock um, responses and finally return the response. And lastly, create uh, a test class and test method where first thing we need to do is use set mock method of test class with two parameters. The first is HTTP callout mock dot class and the other one is the new instantiation of this class that we just created in this step. Next, a callout method is uh, called from this class required, uh, which requires testing. And lastly, we just need to verify responses. So, if if it's not clear enough yet, let, let me show you an example. But first. Let's create a callout class for which I'm going to make use of this endpoint right here, cookie.json-test.com. And this endpoint returns this JSON response in its body. So with that background, let's create, this is my um, developer console. So let's create, I've given a name um, and I'm calling it sample callout class and let's create a static oops, response method and call it, um, let's call it get info from JSON test service and the first thing we need to do is create a request right um, and let's call it request and once you have created the request let's set the uh, method to being um, being this endpoint like this right and then also set the method uh, um, Actually, I did a mistake. Uh, the The first line should have been endpoint, and this is the method. 
sorry about that so this one should be and set end point now I'll keep the there you go so we have set the request now we need to send the request to the endpoint and collect a response in this variable but before we do that let's create an HTTP HTTP variable and now we can use HTTP send method using this variable to send the request to this endpoint and collect response in this variable and let's save it so th this is our sample callout class now going back to how to guide the second step is to implement this interface right and create this method in which we have to create some fake responses again based on what this callout method is expecting it to be and then return that response so that's exactly what I have done in this um, class I'm calling it make mock HTTP response which is implementing this interface and here this method with the request parameter is creating fake responses as you can see I've created a response variable and then assigning some fake responses to that variable so here the header is being set to be application JSON type and body is being set to exactly what you are expecting from here this response and return a happy path status code to be 200 and return the response that's all we do here um, now <clears throat> lastly if you go back here the last step is to create a test class and test method with these three steps so if you go here first thing is we are annotating it to be a test class name is sample callout class test I have added test word at the end in this class and then this is the method and the first thing it does is create a rather call set mock method which mimics the actual response so use this and with two parameters set callout mock and the new class of this class so new instantiation is being passed and now basically just follow the standard procedure collect the response from the sample art uh, from this class and this method so we are calling this method and obviously we should expect a call to this endpoint with this method right so here and after the call the we are collecting the header response and asserting that it is in fact JSON type then we are collecting get body response which obviously should be this that's what's happening in this um, line and then we are comparing actual result to the expected result and then we are comparing the uh, the return code to the actual return code and I'm simply printing these two values at the end and that's it 
if you follow these steps you can always create a uh, test methods for for testing any endpoint with set get and other methods so let's quickly run it uh, I guess I'm seeing some error let's see what's going on oh I need to return a response here so let's save it and let's run this test so run test hopefully it runs yep it runs and then let's go to test and says yep it was successful let's go to uh, our logs and look at the latest log and look at the printed values and obviously the result uh, expected and actual results there they should be the same so that's how you create um, mock rather um, test methods for testing callouts I hope this was useful and if you found it interesting uh, please give me a thumbs up or send me your feedback Thank you for watching. You take care. Bye-bye.